Hey everybody, it's your boy Devontae, AKA Von, coming to you live from the Red Room. And I am here in all of my four-eyed glory, here to bring you the first of many Wine Down Wednesdays drink of the week. Now, I hope everybody had a good day on this good Wednesday. And you know, we're gonna dive right into what this drink is. Now, first, before we get into that, um, if you like me, I have to have something to eat while I'm drinking. So I had to go pick up me some, some little boneless wings. Now, this is not typically what you would eat with this type of drink that we're gonna be drinking today, but you know, I'm not always the most traditional type of person. So yeah, I got my boneless wings and all this and the third with my ranch, and that's just what we got. Now, Without further ado, our drink of the week is none other than 19 Crimes, The Uprising. Now, if you're not familiar with 19 Crimes, uh, 19 Crimes, I'm not exactly sure how long 19 Crimes has been around, but um, I just recently found out about the wine. And so, like I said, this one is 19 Crimes, The Uprising. It says, each declared by his majesty to be punishable on conviction by transportation. Let's see, this was bottled in 2019, and it has an alcohol percentage of 15. <laughs> now, that is strong for a wine, and I got this from Walmart. So, um, that, that is strong for a wine. That's 15% is probably the strongest wine I've ever gotten from Walmart. Um... You know, y'all let me know in the comments if y'all have found stronger. Because I, I know different Walmarts across the nation don't all carry exactly the same thing. But yeah, this is 15% and it's a red wine. And it was aged 30 days in rum barrels. So this should be pretty strong. <laughs> so on the back, it has a little write-up. It says, The Uprising, a new wine aged for 30 days in rum barrels, pays homage to Australia's rum rebellion in 1808. Due to the government's hindering of the rum trade, the rebellion was the only time a group of soldiers and citizens band together to overthrow the government. A portion of this handcrafted wine has thus been aged for 30 days in rum barrels and is dark with jammy flavors and a smoky finish. And then um, they have little animations that come with their wine. So you can, um, you know, download their living wine labels um, from their website, 19crimes.com. And they have, so they have little animations for all of their um, wines. Now, I first got introduced to 19 Crimes through the Snoop Dogg Cali Red um, edition. And so I may have to do a video on that one as well. I've actually tried that one already, but I still can do a video on it. Uh, it actually was not as strong. Um, it was, about, I mean, about 1%. So we're going to see. But it says, the origin of this wine is from Southeastern Australia. Composition red wine, vintage of 2019. And alcohol by volume, 15%. And this is a 750 ml. I got it from my regular um, super... Um, my supermarket, my regular Walmart here in my um town, and yeah, I want to say it was like ten dollars and thirty four cents, so not too too expensive. But like I said, with fifteen percent, I'm probably not gonna need that much. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so that's what we're drinking today. Now, of course, I have to show off my Brookstone six piece automatic wine opener and preserver set now um i love this it was actually a christmas gift from my stepmom and probably the best thing somebody can get me to be honest because i drink a lot of wine so we're gonna get right into that now in my six piece set it comes with the automatic opener it comes with um, two stoppers. It comes with the foil cutter. It comes with the aerator and it comes with the pump So I'm going to talk about each one of those. Um, so first you want to get your foil cutters out and Basically, you know, just cut the foil Boom, perfect 
perfect cut. Close the back. Now, let me get out the actual automatic opener. And I love my automatic opener. I take it with me to all of my little gatherings that me and my cousins have. And so, put that down there. And my battery's about to die. Boom. Pop it out. And it. Spits the cork out of your hand. And now, since I have my wine stoppers, I just go ahead and throw my cork away because I don't need it. But it has some writing on the cork. 19 crimes. It has a number eight. Stealing letters, advancing the postage, and secreting the money. Not sure what that means. Uh, if you're familiar with 19 crimes, drop in the comments. Let me know what that means with the corks. Because it has a number eight on it. So I'm assuming there's a one through seven. Um, hmm. That's new. Okay. So I have my stemless wine glass here. I, I'm feeling stemless tonight. Pour my wine. Oh, that is dark. Now, you know you don't fill your wine glass all the way up to the top. Now, that's ghetto. So, um... Hmm. I wonder if my wine has legs. Let's see. Hmm. Not seeing so many legs. Hmm. Can't really tell if my wine has legs, but um now I didn't use the aerator right now. Uh, which the aerator is Pretty much to mix the gases in the air with your wine. Now, I didn't do it the first time because I want to taste it without it, but the next glass I will actually pour through the aerator and see what that tastes like. So let's take a sip. Okay. It has a very smooth taste. To be as strong as it is, it has a very, very smooth taste. So that means this is going to sneak up on you. <laughs> but it has a very smooth taste. Uh, and I do taste that... Uh, what spin flavor was saying? I do taste the smoky finish. Tastes good to me, though. That is good. That is really good. Let's get into this. Ooh. Hallelujah! I got me some wings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, honey, the wings make you sing. Mm. So, how is everybody's day been? My day was lovely. Had to work, got off of work, and came right home to hop on this. But, you know, mm. Mm -mm -mm. yes, God. Mm. I need that. I have not eaten a sense. What time is that? I haven't eaten since my lunch break earlier today. Hmm. Mm. I can't believe I went that long because I'd be hungry. Jesus, fix it. Hmm. Yes, Lord. Got my two flavors, my honey mustard and my teriyaki. Jesus is in these wings. Mm -hmm. He's he's in all the land, but he's definitely in these wings. Can I get an amen up in here? Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So I wanted to remind everybody that you still have time to get your questions in. Um, now, a lot of people probably are wondering why I'm actually posting now versus waiting until March, like I initially said. But, you know, I was thinking about it and I have everything that I need. I have my lighting stuff, I have my camera stuff, you know, all that stuff. So I was like, what's, what's the point in waiting? Like, let's go ahead and just start getting content out there, getting videos out there, and let's start doing it for the Warriors. So, here I am. But, things will be a little different. So, you still have time to get your questions in for the Q&A. So, instead of March being the launch month, that which is now February, March will pretty much just solely be centered around my keloids and just keloids in general. So, there still will be a Q&A and there still will be like, you know, an introductory as far as about, not necessarily introductory anymore, but just telling my story that video will still happen and the q a will still happen so you still have time to get those questions in and like i said it would just everything would just be centered for the month of march be centered around keloid advocacy keloid skin and just what we go through um trying to make in this world where you know you're not necessarily normal or considered to be beautiful because you don't fit into the idealistic view of what is normal so that's how things are going It's not a strong taste of rum, but you definitely can tell, like the bottle said, that it was aged in rum barrels. You can't, it's not just like a hard rum taste, but you definitely, you can taste the, like I said, you can taste that smoky finish in that barrel and you kind of get like little small hints of rum in it. Mm -hmm. And it is, I'm telling you, it is very, very smooth. That is crazy for that wine to be that strong and to be that smooth. So that is, yeah, that's going to sneak up on me. And I've been working today too. <laughs> My body's already tired, so I hope I don't get too slizzy on this camera with y'all. Mm. Mm -mm. Shout out to Goldfingers for the wings. Had to give me a old nasty 15 piece, because like I said, it's been all day since I have eaten. So, since y'all are here, I will go ahead and tell you guys to be on the lookout for a Valentine's Day special video. Now, I know some people, you know, will be on... Sorry. I know some people will be on dates and stuff. So you're probably going to miss the video because it's going up on Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, I will be dropping a Valentine's Day special. Now, for some people, you may miss it, you know, because you'll be out on dates and stuff. But I'm not really making the video for you. I'm talking to my single people. And we're just going to talk. And I am basically going to be talking about self-love and things of that nature. Just talking about self-love. And while doing that, I will be taking myself on a Valentine's Day date because I don't have a Valentine. <laughs> Nobody has asked me. <laughs> I have not asked anybody. <laughs> so yeah, I will be taking myself on a date. And like I said, during the video, we'll be, we'll be talking about self-love and you know what that really entails and just really dive into that because it's a lot of single people that really feel like they're not living or really feel like their life is going nowhere because they're not in a relationship and you can do anything you want to do a relationship or no relationship as far as fulfilling yourself but like i said i'll be more speaking to my single people and so we'll dive into that on valentine's day so 
you know, hey, if you don't have a date, you don't have a Valentine, you can join me here on Imperial TV on February the 14th. And we're going to have a date with ourselves. That's what we're going to do. For real. So, before that, I don't know if I want to cook for myself. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm lazy. I don't know if I want to cook for myself on Valentine's Day or if I want to order out. Now, I'm a hopeless romantic, so cooking for myself will probably be the best route because of the simple fact you know I like to be wined and dined but I'm not the type of person you have to take me out to a fancy restaurant we have to go out to the most expensive restaurant and do all of that like we do that at the house I'm simple you could take me for a picnic in the living room and I'd be and I would think I'm just the most loved person in the world so I'm not really big on monetary stuff. I do like nice things, but I'm very simple at the same time. I think it's, for me, it's just the thought of knowing you thought about me to even doing something for me that really takes it home for me. So I may cook, I'm not sure. I don't even know if I do cook what I would want to cook. Mm. So hmm, we're gonna see, we're gonna, we're gonna pray about that one. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-h
I'm not sure why I didn't put my contacts in. Well, I, was, well, I know why I didn't put them in. I was trying to give my eyes a break because I had worn contacts every day for for the last three months, um, which is probably not healthy. But hey, they're breathable. But um, I've worn contacts every day for the last three months, so I decided to give my eyes a break just to be able to breathe naturally and you know all that good stuff. So, I decided I'm going to wear my glasses. Man, let me tell you something. Bad idea. You got the mask on, and then you breathing, and you, you know, I don't think anybody has realized how hot their breath actually is until the pandemic hit. I sure did. I did not realize how hot my breath was until this pandemic. And have to wear a mask every day. Man, when I be working. <laughs> when I be working. And I have really bad sinuses. So when I be working. And I'm usually on the phone while I'm working. Just to keep myself going. Or listening to music. So I'm singing to myself. That hot breath get to run out my mouth. And up in my nose. And my nose get to running. And it is just. It is not cute. I stay going to the bathroom. Getting tissue to keep in my pocket. To keep pulling my mask down. And wiping my nose. I'm pretty sure the folks in the store probably think I got COVID. I promise you I don't. But it is not fun. I promise you, if you wear glasses, you feel my if you wear glasses with these masks, you feel my pain. But then to combat that, you try to be smart. You try to be smart. And so I put the mask on, then I put the glasses on top of the mask. Now, that keeps my breath from running up and fogging up the glasses. But, it's like, if I have to pull the mask down, like when I'm in my stores, when I'm on the floor and stuff, yes. Mask up, you know, full shebang. But now when I'm back in the stock room, I tend to, you know, pull my mask down. That's kind of like my chance to get fresh air because everybody you know, in the stock room, you know, are employees. So, you know, everybody is sanitized, everything's wiped down. So that's when I tend to pull my mask down to get some fresh air because with my job, it's, my job is very physical. So it's hard having to be so physical with a mask on because I'm pulling pallets and all that stuff, manual, not electric. I'm pulling manual pallet jacks that I have to actually pump up by hand so it gets very hard to breathe in the mask when you're pumping out so much breath and then you just kind of breathing it back in so I get very short of breath so when I get a chance which is in the stock room I'll pull my mask down and just get like some fresh air or some good clean air instead of just breathing my hot breath back in because I'm telling you Mm -mm. One day, I was like, oh my god, I did not realize my breath stunk like this. And I hadn't brushed my teeth. But, I I don't know. I, had, I hadn't ate anything, so maybe that was why. But I was like, this is not what's up. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. COVID has revealed a lot of things with these masks and that breath. Mm -mm. Okay. So, now we're going to try the air right we like to in, in the tutorial. <laughs> so that, this is the aerator. Now, this is just a portable spout-like aerator, but they actually have, which I want to get, they have the big aerators um, that sit on tables. And you basically just pour your wine in the aerator. Because certain, not now, all wines do not have to be aerated. Because for some wines, it will actually make the taste bad. So not all wines have to be um, aerated. You actually can Google it about aerating wines and find out like which wines are good to be aerated and which wines aren't. Um, 
Now this one, like I said, this is just like a spout aerator. So it's not going to actually do too, too much to this wine because I mean, the wine's gonna, you know, it's gonna pour out so fast, it won't have enough time to really, really aerate it. But like they actually have like actual aerators. They look like, they look like crazy vases or whatever. And you pour your wine in there and you aerate it for a certain time period. And certain wines actually have like an aerating time to really enhance the flavor and things of that nature. But you can buy an aerator. Um, they make like really nice centerpieces. So you can just like, or if you have like a little bar that you have in your house, just pour your wine in your aerator and so you aerate on your bar. And then, like I said, it'll, each wine will let you know like, okay, it needs to be aerated for this much time, that much time. Now that's not on the bottle. So you, <laughs> you're gonna have to Google that to find out. Um, where you know find out you know how much time to aerate your wine but you can get an aerator like off of amazon um stuff like that and like i said mine's just a spout aerator so it just fits in like that and then has a little thing on top where the air kind of siphons in and so we're just gonna do that like i said it pours so fast it's probably not going to aerate as much as it would if i poured it in actual aerator and set it out Okay, so we're gonna try that and see what we get. Oh yeah, this wine does not have legs unless I'm not doing it right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I can taste a slight difference. I can. Aerating it gave it <clears throat> Aerating it kind of enhanced the punch that you get from the rum barrel. Because like the wine is very smooth, but there is a slight punch from that rum bear that you get like in the back of your throat. But I wasn't really getting that at first. How I'm getting it now after the slight aeration from my aerator. And I wanted the aerator kind of added to the smoothness of it as well. This is really good. I don't want to drink a whole bottle, but <clears throat> I've been known to put down a bottle of wine. And not 750 either. Ooh, ooh. Yes. <clears throat> Aerating that really added to that smoky finish. It really did. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Yes, it brought out that smoky flavor. I can say that, yeah. Aerating it brought out that smoky flavor. That is really good. I can see me buying this again. <clears throat> this, like I said, I've already had the Snoop Dogg one, the Cali Red, and that one. Whew, that one is good. Which is crazy because they're all just red wine, but they have really... They've really done a good job with finding the the difference in flavors because they because like I said they have like mm, I want to say 19 crimes has like three red wines they have their original red wine then they have the Snoop Dogg Cali Red and then they have this one the Uprising um, now I'm not sure the Snoop Dogg one hasn't been out that long. I want to I want to say the Snoop Dogg one came out sometime last year, maybe like the middle of last year. So um, that one hasn't been out that long, but it's really it's really really good. That one's like 14.1 percent, um, so it's just as strong. This one is just that extra love, mm. <laughs> and 
and they went straight to 15. So the Snoop Dogg one is 14.1. The regular the regular red wine by 19 crimes is 14. And this one is 15. So, so far, I only know this one to be the strongest one that they have. I haven't tried their other one. They have, they have other wines as well. I just haven't tried them. Um, but I probably will just to try them out and see. But, um, yeah, so this one will make three red wines that 19 Crimes has that I know of. They may have more. But this one is the third one I've come across. But like I can honestly say each red wine has its own. I mean, red wine is red wine. So red wine is going to always taste the same. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. As I was saying, red wine is red wine. So there's not too much you can do with that. I mean, red wine is going to be red wine. So it's going to taste the same. But each one has different things that makes it that makes it pop so the original has its own thing the snoop dog cali red has its own signature kind of taste that's different from the original and this one is different from both of them because like i said this one has been aged in rum barrels so you kind of you have wine, but you also have like almost like a liquor aspect to it by it being aged in the rum barrels. Because I mean, the barrels the rum was aged in, that liquor is going to be in that wood. So you kind of almost have like a wine and liquor mixture with the uprising. And baby, it is rising in me because I feel it. Oh, I feel it. I feel it. Uh, yeah, I feel it. And my body's already tired because I, I don't work a twelve-hour shift, so I'm already tired. Mm. I have really sat here. And ate an entire 15 piece boneless wing. I mean, that's basically nothing but chicken nuggets, but still. 15. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what music I'm dancing I don't even know what music I'm dancing to. Because the music they're playing in the background is not that fast. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I think the uprising has got me. I said, this one was bottled a year ago. So I can only imagine what a bottle that has been aged for longer when not was well, only been aged for 30 days but I don't know I correct let me know in the comments does wine continue to age in the bottle that's my question because I know it I know the aging process is like I say in the barrels and stuff like that. I, I I understand that. But as it sits in the bottle, does it continue to get stronger? Cuz like I said this bottle like I said is vintage 2019. So I'm not sure if they have other bottles that have a farther out vintage date. But if they do, let me know. Is that going to be stronger than this one? I feel like it would be, but I could be wrong. I, I could very much be wrong. I'm not sure. But um, let me know in the comments. 
my wine people. But like I said, um, I wanted to do Wine Down Wednesday because, I mean, hello everybody, my name is Devante and I'm a drinker. I'm not an alcoholic, I'm a drinker. I like to enjoy a nice drink, whether that be wine, whether that be liquor. But I hope you guys have really enjoyed this Wine Down Wednesday. I am definitely wine down. Um, I hope I'm not slurring. That's not cute. But I'm definitely feeling good. The uprising is like really giving me everything that I need. So, before I get any more slizzard, <laughs> I'm going to sign off. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you can know when I have more videos coming. Because they coming. They coming. Like, we, we up and stuck. Period. So, um, that's it. Like, subscribe. Also, get in the comments. Let me know what you like, what you don't like. Like I said, this is new to me, so I'm trying to figure all this stuff out. But like I said, Wind Down Wednesdays definitely will keep going. Even if you don't, because, I mean, you won't know what wine I'll have until, you know, the video is up and you're watching it. But get you some wine. Get you some wine, get you some liquor, make you a cocktail, fix you a glass, and wind down with me. Because I'm just going to be nobody but Devontae. And we're going to talk, we're going to laugh. I hope you find me funny. But um, we're going to talk, we're going to laugh, and we're just going to wind down after a long day of working. So, yes, always have you a bottle with you. Whether it's wine, whether I said whether it's wine, whether it's liquor, have your bottle with you. We're gonna wind down. We're gonna wind down together. So, like I said, today we had the uprising. This is our wine of the week. Get it, drink it, love it. And like I said in my last video, always remember to live your best life for you. Nobody can live your life for you. Live your best life for you. And we out. Bye.